Okay, where is it rocking? It's rocking right here. Okay. There we go. All right.
Hey there, if you have a few moments, I can fill you in on this build. The idea was to complete this project as quickly as possible. I was finishing a batch of setting hammers and I was using the cure time between coats to work on this project. I estimated that I had about three hours of total time to get this one done. I grabbed a leftover piece of maple from my fancy box project and went to work on the design. Once I had something that I was happy with, I cut it out on the bandsaw. The curves across the end grain looked good to me and I left those as is. The curves across the top needed a little attention, so I planed that one smooth. The bottom edge I planed smooth as well to get it down to good wood. Doing this would save me time when I was ready to paint. In an effort to save myself some time, I did not bother with smoothing the back as it will not be seen. On the front, I planed off the rough spots, used the card scraper to clean up any plane tracks, and then blended the surface with sandpaper. This way is faster for me than trying to sand it or plane it alone. To add some visual interest to the piece, I ran the edges back over the bandsaw. This added texture that would pop out later when paint was applied. I brushed on a thicker coat of milk paint than I normally would in order to get more coverage. Usually I would apply several thin coats, but I was focused more on time than on getting a perfect paint job. By this time, my hammers were ready for another coat of finish so I could turn my attention back to those while the paint for this project was drying. Visually, this was still a little boring, so I added some simple fern leaf carvings. This was my first time carving this type of pattern. I liked how it turned out, but at the same time, I'm glad this is on shop furniture. This is one area where I would have liked to have more time in getting the carving design laid out. Once it was carved, I sanded the surface with some worn out 400 grit paper. This smoothed out the paint and cut through where the saw texture was. Additionally, because I only had time for one coat of paint, I decided to sand a bit more on the face in order to cut through that paint and add some artificial aging to the piece. To me, this looked better than half a paint job. Then to really age up the look of the piece, I added some amber shellac and followed it with dark paste wax. Yellowing the maple and leaving a bit of the dark wax in the low spots helped to add a few years to the piece, at least to my eye. And with time and use, this should start to look better and better as the artificial aging will transition into actual aging. All in all, I had three hours and 15 minutes in this project. That included hanging it on the back of the door. I have left links to additional information and my inspiration for this project in the description box below. And as always, thank you for watching. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please click the subscribe and bell icons and YouTube will send you a notice when I post. And I'll see you on the next one.